Today is day 12 of our garden journey, and we're going to um, kind of rough up these roots a little bit so they can take hold and get these planted in my bird bath. But I've actually, it's an old bird bath, and I drilled holes in it for drainage, and now I use it as a planter. So we have different um, hybrid petunias. We have mini petunias and then regular sized ones. Um, petunias will get big and fill in and even drape over the edges eventually. So I really like petunias for my bird bath here. So I have two of the minis and three of the regular sized ones. I usually plant some trailing greenery in here as well, but I haven't found any yet at the different places. So that's this and that's all planted. I'm so thankful that I can finally get some annuals in the ground, which is what really kind of makes your garden look bright and cherry in my opinion. Um, here's some that I started planting. This um, dirt needs to be kind of chopped up a little bit, especially these big dried up dirt clods that I dug whenever I was um, doing my monkey grass, which I still haven't finished. I just haven't um, been able to dig up more. So I'm going to chop all of these up so that all of this is real fine so that all the little roots can easily spread through it and get through nutrients and different things. We will be putting some compost on top that can soak in. Not today, because I haven't bought any yet anymore. I've used some already, but makes it hard not really being able to go to like regular stores and whatever. I've went to a local nursery that let just, you know, one person at a time come and go through the greenhouses. So that was nice to get to see all the pretty flowers. I might, you know, on another day, maybe a rainy day that I can't really get outside, we might go and look through the greenhouse and see all the pretty things. These bigger dried up balls of dirt are kind of hard to chop up. And, but I love my hoe. That's what I use most to kind of get my garden dirt mixed up and chopped up and ready to plant. So, okay, that's good for now. We're going to get these in. What you want to do is, around the edges, be very gentle and just barely kind of, kind of rub. Don't be too hard and don't, you don't want to break the roots. You just want to kind of fluff them up a little bit so that they can start spreading through the dirt of their new home. It's a little bit root damp bound here at the bottom, which isn't isn't a horrible thing. It just means there's plenty of roots. And so I usually kind of break apart the bottom, even if I do tear them a little bit. You'll have different people with different opinions about whether I'm doing this right or not. But my um, verbenas usually spread and grow. That's what this is. It's a pink variegated verbena which I love. They like um, well-draining soil, so they don't like to stay wet. So I'm kind of, I don't bury them very deep and I kind of just mound it up. That way they don't, um, the earth kind of drains off a little bit. That's all we're gonna do today. Thank you for watching.